Hello everyone, it's Vonic Zombie. Welcome back to Criminal Minds. So, we just found these van keys, and I think I have a way to get the uh, purse down from the tree with the umbrella, maybe. Okay, need someone to get closer. Okay, so I'm close. But, we have the van keys. So let's go to the van. We still need to... There's that guy. Um, we still need to... Um, console the student. But, we have van keys. And we are playing as Derek Morgan right now. And... Hidden object scene. What is in the back of this van? A lot of stuff. Okay. So, being honest with you guys, I haven't seen episodes from Criminal Minds um, since I think season 8. Uh, I don't quite remember. Uh, but I know the character Derek Morgan is no longer on the show because Shamar Moore retired from Criminal Minds. Uh, he said he's not retired from acting or doing projects in general, but just retired from Criminal Minds. Let's see. As you can see, I can't talk and look for stuff at the same time. <laughs> um, but, uh... I believe they might be on season 10. They're definitely way past season 8. There's the drill. There's an apple. We have a paddle, spoon, baseball bat, and a rubber duck. There's a paddle. There's a rubber duck. There's a baseball bat along the door, looking like it's a part of it. And now we just need the spoon. Because I'm sure you guys have already seen, already identified, and I'm just clueless. Let's see. There it is. On the toaster oven. We found an incandescent bulb. I have no idea what that's for, but okay. Good to have. Okay, so no idea how to comfort her. I think that's yeah. I think that's a female. Okay. Nice day out today. Okay, so that's a scarf. Can't grab it right now to open up the grate. So I need a screwdriver. If you bend a paper clip in the right way, you can open up a screw. <coughs> so our tasks are. Retrieve Kate's purse, use a screwdriver to open up the vent, console the students, find an ID for art school, for the, for the art school. Back again. Okay. So I just noticed that there's something here. We can use this to get up the tree, but we'll need something to cut the rope first. I have scissors! Ooh! Yay! Okay. May need to use this plus something else to reach the purse. Okay. So we have a ladder. So can we use the ladder and the umbrella to get to the tree? I mean, get to the purse. Up the tree! <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay, I guess that's a certain pattern. Okay. 
Oh, it changes. Oh. So I guess this is a neat code if you want to prevent someone from getting into your purse. But I would hate to do this every time if I wanted to get into my purse. That's the only. Oh, okay. There we go. Sparkles! Okay. Dear Dr. Oaks, please accept this letter as my formal complaint against my art teacher, Mr. Garnet. His sexual advances towards me have been unbearable. I have talked with other female students who have been annoyed by his sexual harassment, but I am no longer able to tolerate it. As Dean of Austin Art Academy, I fully expect you to take appropriate action. Thank you, Kate Miller. Is that the guy with the paint stuff in the park? So Kate was carrying a letter accusing her teacher of harassment the night she died. Looks like we need to take a trip to the art school where this guy teaches. Anything else in her purse? No. Oh, here we go. Handkerchief. <coughs> Is that him? Oh, his name is August. Okay. Ah, oh, maybe she would like a handkerchief. Here you go, miss. I'm Jin. What do you want from me? Sorry, it's just that I'm kind of overwhelmed with everything. Hi, Jin. I can tell you this is a tough time for you, but I need to... I need to get into the art school for our investigation. Do you have an ID card? No, I forgot my ID at home. It's been a really bad day. Have you heard about any complaints filed against a teacher named Mr. Garnet? Mr. Garnet? No, I always thought he was a great teacher. I'm sorry, but I need to go now. I can't bear to look at anything anymore about Kate today. Clear your emotional. Probably a close friend of the victim. If we see her again, we should find out who Kate was associating with. Okay. Oh, we'll look behind her. Screwdriver! Hey, it's that screwdriver I need. Okay, let's get into the grate. So this is a creepy dude, but it's not the art teacher. Or do I need to actually go to the point? Yeah, I need to actually use the point. No. An ID card! Student ID! Okay, that gets rid of two tasks. Okay, now we can get in. <coughs> oh, hey Reed. Dr. Reed, glad you're here. We got a teacher who's had a history of sexual harassment. Name's Frank Garnet. Take a look into his soul, Dr. Man. Maybe you'll see our unsub. It's not uncommon for teachers to have an authority complex, and the unsub certainly disrespects women. I'll talk to him and see what I can find out. Get me inside the bill and I'll continue the investigation. Okay, here you go. Or do we need to go up to the... There we go. And now we are playing as Dr. Spencer Reed. Alright, we're in. Let's see if we can find this Mr. Garnet guy. First, hit an object scene. Yep, definitely looks like an art studio. Passport. There is a passport. Excellent. Garcia will be able to access any information we need with Garnet's passport. Okay. Pretty suspicious there's a passport. There's another handprint. Okay, there's the last playing card, and there's a fan. Now we just need a bell. More bell. 
Where's the bell? Okay, so what do we get? Garnet passport. Okay. Here goes a key. Office key. This easel isn't very useful in the dark here. Oh, we have a bulb. Bulb. There we go. Painting would fit here. Okay, we don't have a painting. Or do we? No, there's no painting. Doors locked. We have a key. There we go. Oh! Hello. You're really smiling at me. Oh! <laughs> Good job, Morgan. Frank Garnet? I'm Dr. Reed with the FBI. We're investigating the murder of a female student here, and we have a letter accusing you of some terrible acts. This is shocking news! Who would say anything like that about me? Well, you also started running. Is there something you need to show me? Okay, so even if I talk to him... Why would Kate Miller, a murder victim and a student of yours, write a letter accusing you of harassment, Mr. Garnet? I don't know. Sometimes students get frustrated with the workload at school and take it out on the authority figures. That seems improbable considering the circumstances. I want to look around for more evidence. He just stood up and was like creepily smiling at us and then just took off running. It was tackled by uh, Derek Morgan. <laughs> this would be the unsub's trademark portrait of the victim, but it's too dim to identify it in here. Stamp. Murder painting. Ooh. I find it anonymously on my doorstep wrapped in a bow. With the investigation, I just didn't want anyone to think I'd done it, so I hit the painting. We're going to have to take you down to the police station for further questioning. Look, you got this all wrong! Mr. Garnet, come with me, please. I'm going to need a look around here further. Hopefully they can take care of Garnet at the station on their own. Okay. Painting. Whoa, that looks disturbing from this distance. Bingo. Definitely a painting of the murder scene. Most like the same unsub as the profile in the Louisiana murders. Let's take a closer look. Oh. Find all eyes in the painting. What is the unself trying to tell us by putting eyes all over this painting? Seems like the unself is obsessed with watching the victim or studying her. Four remaining. It's a painting of the murder scene. The unsub had a pretty warped view of the victim. <coughs> this one's a little bit more. Looks like we found some evidence worthy of profiling, guys. The painting was clearly meant to be seen, maybe even as a gift. The unsub is trying to tell us something about the victim, but what? This isn't a portrait of the victim. It's vandalized. The unsub is trying to cast the victim as someone who's unpleasant or despicable. 
For the unsafe to create this sort of slander post-mortem, it's possible that they feel inferior to the victim and need to assert themselves even after the victim is dead. This is classic rejection behavior. We should keep an eye out for anyone who's recently be shunned, been shunned. There we go. The portrait was meant to be seen. It's a message. It's a vandalized depiction of the victim trying to cast the victim as unpure. The unself is trying to show that they are better than other people. This is classic rejection behavior. It's possible the unsub was recently rejected and the paintings are some type of revenge. <laughs> Hi Princess, Mr. Garnet, the art school teacher, is in the interrogation room. It ran out of tapes to record the session, so after you put a new tape in the cassette player, you have clearance to question Garnet. We couldn't get anything off of him, but the victim wrote a letter of complaint that suggests he has an unhealthy obsession with women. Maybe you'll have better luck. So I have to sweet talk the womanizer? Great. Thanks a lot, Hodge. Hodge. Okay, when they said ream of paper, they meant um, a pack of paper. Let's see, cassettes and ream of paper. Okay. <clears throat> Here. Run Frank's fingerprints. Okay. So. We have a tape. Cassette and cassettes. Okay. Passport. Just as I thought, Garnet's had a few run-ins with the law, including a restraining order filed against him five years ago. I'll fax the report over now. Now I have to interrogate him. <clears throat> okay. Before we talk to Garnet, we need to run a background check on him and set up the recording system to record his interrogation. He just might confess. Okay. If we organize these tapes, we maybe we can find the blank one. Looks like we need a few more to fill out the box, though. Okay. One tape short. Okay. Plank tape? Oh, okay. There's one. Order new tapes. This machine records interrogations in the other room. I should put a cassette here. Okay. You should record everything Garden says now. Okay, so Hot should be out of the way now. No, he isn't. Okay. Garn is gonna have to wait. There's been another murder. Reads on the phone with the details. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. 
Sorry to pull you away from Garnet, but there's a new victim inside. Serial murders. If we don't figure out who's doing this soon, we'll have another dead woman on our hands. Okay, and we will get to this scene in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!